mama papa Good morning, Sharpies. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back. What's up? What's up? So I was in here minding my business, trying to put my laundry away, doing some dishes, doing some much needed housework. I got my little to-do list going and my phone starts barking. And it's a bark ringtone and it's scheduling. And they called to give me a three-day trip that is definitely an a.m. trip because I have a 5.30 a.m. report tomorrow and like a 7.30 a.m. report on the last day. It's not a hard trip. It's a 142, I believe. All on 700. I'm flying A, thank God. But like, I have no food for my food bags. Now I got to hurry up and make some food, right? Get dressed and go to the airport. And I only have two hours. Two hours because the report time is at 12:30, and they called me at 10:27. Why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? Ugh, they have annoyed me. But you know what? It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work and I'll see you guys in a good bit. I still have all this laundry to put away first. Hey, I made it to the airport. Um, there was absolutely no parking. I'm in like the back. I don't like that. I'm about to give me some iced coffee. I was going to do my makeup today, but I only have one flight today. Yeah, y'all only have one flight today and I'm flying A for this whole trip. And okay, so it's horrible that I had to go to work today, but it actually kind of works out because this trip carries over into the next month. So in my next month, my TFP is sitting pretty, but I also would rather be at home versus being at work because right after this trip, I have a VJA trip that I picked up and then I have to like do this mad dash because I only have two days off. I have a flight lesson. I had some appointments because I'm going to Mexico. So I just got a lot going on. You feel me? Yeah, so. Yeah, we're gonna work on one flight. It's almost full. I'm using my new bag today. So I got a base mini weekender for myself. Uh, because I wanted something different and if anybody has been here Long enough, which I hope a lot of you have been I just be buying stuff between bags and shoes I'm gonna buy it right so I bought another work bag, but it's also a leisure bag It's just a bag that I wanted to buy so I bought the base mini weekender. This is my first time using it um, I need to see if it fits underneath the airplane seats I know the normal size weekender does not but I need to see if the mini one Does I honestly I love it so far it? It's not too heavy on my shoulder with all my crap in there so we'll see how it holds up for this three-day trip but honestly i love it and y'all want to know what i love the most about it it has one of those like rope string pieces in the inside for your keys i would always lose my keys in my bag and i have not found a perfect place to put them but now i have a little key ring and why would you buy a hundred dollar bag for a key ring mind your business yeah let's go to work so these next two trips, I know I'm doing six days in a row like a crazy person, which I'll be doing a lot in June. But these next two trips, like this trip and the next one, I have to be productive. So on this trip, I will be taking my braids out until they're down to the bare minimum. Um, but I need to take my braids out on this trip and then on the next trip, I'm gonna do passion twists. And I decided to do them on myself so that I can save some money because I've been spending money like crazy recently and so to help me save i'm gonna do my own hair for vacation but that means i need to do it on my overnight because that just makes the most sense right right yeah so we worked one flight and now i'm here at my hotel in um el paso we literally have a 5 a.m band but we're gonna go down for a happy hour and get some food around 4 30 so that's so good it's time to get some good sleep i'm gonna give you a room tour but literally nothing happened today besides we had this little toddler and he was so cute but baby he screamed almost the entire flight and i was doing everything i could do to try to distract him because he was screaming and i mean like screaming screaming to the top of his lungs the entire flight so i have about an hour and a half before i'm gonna go down with my crew i think i'm gonna do some video editing now so that when i get back from happy hour i can start taking out the middle of my hair the goal is to either get it all out by the time i get home or to just have majority of it out so that when i get home all i gotta do is take out the perimeter and we'll be cooking with some gas you feel me because on to my vacation hair and i'm so excited for vacation i know you're probably tired of me talking about it but oh well on to the tour so 
So a soup got on my flight today and it's so funny because the soup that got on my flight today, actually I flew with her when she was a flight attendant during my OE, like right before I graduated from training. So that's always gonna be like, ah, to me. But she got on my flight today. You no, know, she was real cool, just chopping it up. Like came to see if we needed anything. Um, but then she asked to take a picture of me because she was like, oh, you're like you look really like cute, well put together today. Can I take a picture of you for the looking good award? And I was like, hmm okay uh too bad i didn't do my makeup today but hopefully i don't look crazy in that picture because i feel like i look like i'm about to go deliver packages um but ugh, she thought i looked cute so she thought i looked cute so oh well we'll see yeah time to go downstairs and eat dinner before i retire for the rest of the night i have the most basic outfit i don't even care i just want to eat and lay down let me show y'all this is our fit we have on some savage x boxer shorts a random t-shirt and my fanny bag and i didn't charge my phone this entire time i was in the room so charging it now Bye. Good morning. I'm about to head downstairs so I can get me a free breakfast burrito. I don't know if I told y'all this yesterday, but I got out the car and left my cardigan. So I literally have to work in short sleeves for the next two days and it'd be freezing on those airplanes. So luckily I'm up front so I can kind of get them to change the front part of the cabin. Like change the... Luckily I'm up front so it's usually a little bit warmer up there and they could like change that without affecting the whole crew. But I'm also really upset because... I can't tell you the last time I worked without a cardigan. Luckily, I'm in El Paso and it's 81 degrees at 4.50 in the morning. Love that for me. But I'm going all the way to St. Louis, which is going to be hit or miss. So we're just vibing with no cardigan. Four freaking flights today, but they're all under an hour and 40 minutes. Like their block time is under an hour and 40 minutes. I can't tell you where I go, but I think I go through New Orleans at some point. Maybe hit Panama City Beach, but I end up in St. Louis. But I'll keep you updated throughout the day let me go before i miss my breakfast burrito hey guys um so it's been a really long day today and i just want to tell y'all about it real quick before i go downstairs and get food my hair is falling apart i'm in shambles it was almost a 10 hour duty day but it felt so much longer than that we literally woke up at the butt crack of dawn and we've been delayed all day because of weather going into austin and we did these four flights and i don't know where i went if i remember i'm gonna tell you but we just been delayed all day and we just finally get to our overnight and all I want is a good burger. And I really hope the burger is good because all I want is a good burger and some french fries and to like yum 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 yum, right? We did have a guy on our flight today that started cursing and we had to put him in his place a little bit because like why are you cursing at me over something that's not my fault? I can't control the weather. That has nothing to do with me. So friend, please don't curse at me because I don't like that. That does not make me happy. Yeah. But other than that though... It wasn't a bad day. It was just a long day. Um, I just feel like it had to be something in the air today because people was cutting up just a little bit. And not like they weren't being like rambunctious or anything. It was just like I had so many moments where I'm like, what is going on? Like, I'm just so confused. Anyway, made it to my hotel here in St. Louis. My van time is at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have about, dang, I got like five minutes to make it downstairs to go, uh, meet up with my crew my phone is about to die so let me hurry and give you a room tour and then we can get this show on the road right after this trip i have another trip <sighs> Bookies. Um, so last night I went out with not really out. So last night we went down. Oh gosh, hold on, my alarm is ringing. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. I'm behind. I'm behind. Um, so last night we went downstairs to get food. Then we just walked by the pool and I discovered that the cicadas are here in freaking St. Louis. And you know, I was not outside for that long. Um, 
It probably seems like I'm moving around a bunch because I am. Because the alarm that was just ringing is my you need to leave out alarm. And that's real interesting because I'm still in the room. We have two flights today. Um, we are going somewhere. I started taking my hair out finally. Didn't do anything else on my to-do list, but you know, these things happen. Hold on, hold on. I also feel like I'm really gonna need my cardigan this morning. It's only like 60 degrees outside, so I'm gonna have to run from the hotel to the van to keep myself warm. Yeah, nothing else interesting going on today. I hope that we're not on rolling delays, so I do have time to talk to y'all because I didn't have time to talk to y'all yesterday, and that be making me sad a little bit, you know? Because like I be wanting to give y'all the tea in real time, and I can't do that. If we're delayed because we literally we will it's my Reese cup what in there it upsets me because when we're delayed we literally do plain and by the time we're done cleaning ops is down there like you're ready to board like you don't get no me time in the middle of these flights and i need some me time in the middle of these flights and i also hope that you cannot see my hair poking out because these braids got to go my scalp is screaming Let's go to work. So we started at home. We're ending at home because I almost forgot to end my vlog today. I got home three hours late. I was supposed to land at 1210 and we ended up landing at like 230. I didn't walk to my house until three o'clock. Hot mess express. So much weather. That flight from Panama City to Houston was horrible. It was only supposed to be an hour and 25 minutes. We left Panama City like an hour late and then we spent an extra hour in the air wasn't my favorite group i'm gonna be honest with you it was not my favorite group it was they were not nice oh my gosh it was horrible but you know what we made it and we survived and i guess that's really all that matters i started another three day in 24 hours so i'm trying to like get my mojo jojo bag but then after my three day trip <laughs> i'm going to cancun yeah so i'm about to finish taking my hair out for the rest of the day and prepping for work tomorrow both of my flights were completely full and it looks like my next three day trip is going to have all full flights anyway because you know the kids just got out of school and that last flight had 30 some kids on it 30 some kids crazy and we had like a bunch of connections i swear like 100 people from that flight of 143 were connecting to go somewhere else in houston it was just a cluster and we had this not nice sky at the end so i'm gonna leave you guys with this little nugget rules are there for a reason maybe we should follow them especially when you're not in your own little bubble you know you're on an airplane there are rules that you should follow on an airplane yeah do that because old dude was like i know and still not listening like you cannot stand up while we're taxiing you have to sit down and we told him and reminded him he's like oh i know and then we asked him well why did you do it he said because i wanted to Okay, I'm trying to disarm my door and he's standing behind me, sir. Can you please back up? Oh, I know. So why are you still standing here? Like, I'm just so confused. Anywho, we're going to leave it in the past. We're going to leave it where it's at. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye.